Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with the second part of my uh, DIY wedding slash party decor ideas. If you haven't seen the first part, I will leave the link to it up here and also down below in the description. As I mentioned in my previous video, summertime and the wedding season are getting closer, so you might be looking for the deco ideas which you can use more on outside or on the special occasions. And if you like doing uh, garden parties with touch of your creativity, I hope you find few ideas in this video. And before I jump into the first project, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads and give this video a big thumbs up and now without any further ado let's get right into the project first project would be perfect for summer evenings to bring some light and coziness to create my boho lantern i will reuse all the jar i start with creating four same circles out of thick cardboard they have to be slightly wider than the jar I draw four of them and then cut them out. With two of my circles I have to cut a small circle out in the middle of them, almost as big as the jar top part is. Using hot glue, I glue the full circles together and add the two together. The full one goes uh, at the bottom of my jar, the other one goes at the top. To cover up the ugly part of the cardboard, I glue the rope around it, on the bottom and on the top of the jar. Then I take thinner macrame cord and start creating the design between these two parts. To make it look tighter, I measured the distance and then applied to all the other parts. To cover the top part of the jar, I cut a long piece of cardboard and wrap hemp cloth around it. I do the same for the bottom to lift the jar slightly up. I took again the thick rope and the wrap jute yarn around it. This is the handle for the lantern. I've added few pieces of cord here and there to make this lantern more interesting. You can place normal candle in or the battery powered one and enjoy some warm light during summer evenings. <laughs> To create name card holder for a table, I will be using air dry clay. You can use polymer clay for it, but if you are planning to create many of them, air dry clay will be just a cheaper option. I cut out quite a big piece of it and using craft rolling pin, I flatten it out slightly. I want to achieve about one centimeter thickness. 
To cut out heart shape, I'm using template which I created by myself. I simply drew heart on a thicker piece of paper and cut it out. I place it flat on top of my clay and at first using knife I trace the line around my template. Then by doing deep and short cuts I cut the heart shape out. Create as many of them as you want or need for your patient. I go around the edges and cut off any excess clay and then using sponge with water I smoothed it, it all out. Make sure the heart stays straight when put on its side. Once it's nicely smoothed out I take a knife and create a straight cut for the name card. I go almost halfway down. I hold the heart from the side so the cut is nice and straight. I put the cord in, making sure it fits and the heart still standing straight. I lay it down flat and leave it on the side till fully dry. Once they are all dry I take sanding block and sand them slightly. Then I take acrylic paint and paint them all. Of course, you can choose whichever color you like or you can even create pattern on them. They are perfect to put on the table in front of the plate so everyone knows where they are sitting. To create my stand, I will use a piece of kitchen worktop which I have left over after the renovation. You of course can use any kind of piece of wood, I've thought this project would be good for using some of this wood. I start with measuring how big piece I need and then using electric saw I cut it out. I take metal hoop which will be a part of this display. Mine is about 30 cm in diameter and by placing it on the longer side of my wood piece I measure and mark where I have to drill the holes. I take this distance and transfer it onto the middle section of my wood. I measure how thick is my metal hoop and using the same thickness drill bit I start making the hole. First I go a little bit straight down. Then I turn the drill to the right angle and drill deeper hole. Both holes are ready. Because this is a cheap wood, so all the edges don't look too nice and don't match the rest. Luckily, I also have some of these straps left and I can cover all the edges with it. This step might be not related to you if you are using different wood, but i show you quickly how I did it anyway. I measured the side and cut exactly the same length of this strap. Even though it has the glue on it, I've decided to add some extra Gorilla Glue. I glue it together and leave some weight on it till the glue cures. And I repeat the process with other three edges. I took my metal hoop and cut few centimeters of it off. Now I have two ends, one for each hole. If you want, you can squeeze some glue to the hole before, but mine are deep enough and hold strongly the hoop in one position. Decorate to your preferences and the display is ready. Perfect to put in the middle of the table. You can place whatever you want on it. Vase with flowers, candle or even some food and cakes. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about these projects and which one was your favorite. Also don't forget to check part 1 if you haven't seen it already and share this video with someone who you think might find it helpful. And now thank you so much for watching, your support 
and I will see you in my next video.